Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replay! Today on Coda Letter Edition against... Uh, with the TVC! So, there we go! Ah, ah, I'm casting way too much currently, so... We have spawned in the left top position of Coda, playing for the Heralds Esports, it's the Red Zerg Orion! A High Master Zerg who plays also in the SCV Rush T Master League Diamond Tournament, which I'm casting sometimes. Uh, yeah. So, if you like to participate, we got gold, silver, bronze cup, we got gold, platinum cup, uh, platinum, diamond cup, and the diamond, masterly cup. You're switching currently on Legacy of the Void, so if the video comes out, we already switch completely to Legacy of the Void, I guess. You can win one hourly coaching in every tournament out of our Grand Master League mm, Gamer Richie. That's the name, and he's really good in coaching. And in the Master League Diamond Cup you can win 5 euros, which is a little bit more than 5 dollars, so woo, hype! If you like weekly, just google SCV Rush Chalong or SCV Rush Twitter and Facebook, and there you go. And maybe you will see me casting your games live. Oh yeah. <laughs> so here we have spawning pool first into gas and for me of course the barracks yeah right spawn in the right bottom position it's me the blue terran alex Sasher. there you go ah, totally missed that yeah so orion going for something very interesting here pool then gas should be good and let's see what kind of aggression i have to face so for me we see the orbital command on the way, as well as the reaper and of course the supply depot. Very nice. Very neat. But what will we see here? Spawning pool. Ah! Roach Warren, there you go. So as we last time saw, the speedling aggression, this time you can that that's perfect! Because now you see. Now you see that the Reaper will scout no base and it will be Roach, so you can make sure to throw down... Well, if you see Roaches, if you see there's no base, you need to cancel that no matter what. You need to. Uh, there's no way around it. But with my opening this time, <laughs> getting the command center, the high ground, the reactor, and the Reaper sees it, and... Yeah, I will see the Roach Run as well. So, there we go. So, the Roach Run, I know already. Okay. Bye bye. Ciao! See you later, alligator! Wow! And bunker being placed down as well. The good thing is, I got the reactor, so a second bunker not necessarily needed, but better be safe than sorry. In any, in any game, I would say better be safe than sorry. Um. Pulling SUVs already, it is okay. I'm ahead, I got a second command center. It's fine, I can work with that. It's not optimal, but it's okay. Um, so, you can do this. It's it's fine. And if you're not a pro player, for example, I've, I've read an article uh, from TLO, the, the Liquid TLO, about the macro mechanics and stuff on, on Team Liquid page. And he, he said a lot of stuff, but what he also said is if you're not a professional player, you shouldn't be forced to play like a professional player. Just play like you want. If you're not good enough with, with four gates to micro uh, to macro them, then go for a six gate instead and win the games. And later on, if you get better, go for a four gate, a five gate, and, and slowly go into the real optimal solution for yourself, but play like you want. I mean, if you're better with a 6 gate, which is not the optimal thing to go in Gold League, for example, but it works better there for you because you can spend your money better, then go for it. And I really like that. So, even though I'm not Grandmaster League, I'm not a pro player, I go for 2 bunker, even, and I pulled SCVs, which was not optimal. Huh? But if it works and I win the game, then it's okay for me. And, la and slowly I can move step for step forward. Now I would have loved to have some SVVs there as he breaches through the gap, uh, but he loses a lot there, right? 
Uh, he might be able to get the bunker. No, not gonna happen. Uh, damage dealt. Almost nothing here. Yeah. So far he lost just a whole lot. Need to make sure the wall gets closed. Interestingly, behind that he's going for the for for the lair. So that's something he killed eight SCVs. It's okay. I got mules. Mules are pretty damn good. He's keeping me busy, but I'm getting a tank. So those roaches do nothing. Bye bye roaches. So overall. I defended quite nicely. I'm ahead in worker. I'm ahead in bases. I'm safe. And for ooh, spire into hatchery. So he really doesn't want to give up. He tries to transition out of it, and this can work because um, after roaches, I don't really suspect a spire. Expect whatsoever. I don't think about neutralisk as an opening. Oh, the reaper. Uh, no, I'm not scouting it. But I did see morphing the hatchery morphing into into the lair. So I'm getting greedy with a third command center. And the problem is Cloak Benji is nice, yes, but not against Mutalis, which are popping out soon. Shun, uh, sure he can't have like a crazy amount of Mutalis, but four Mutalisks can be annoying for now. And he can follow this up with more roaches or anything like that. So we will see. There's a second Benji on the way. So the Benji will clarify that it's Mutalus, which is helpful. But the Reaper should have done this job w long ago. Uh, salvaging this bunker. Money! I should really get an eBay. Mm, the Benji is still on the way. Mutalus die. Uh, Overlord dies. That's good. He is transferring drones. Towards his natural. And there's the Benji, but the Mutalists are already out. Cloak not finished. How many kills will I get? And that's no huge because. Uh, two kills, three kills, four kills. Not really worth it. But now it's only Mutalus. And it bought me some time. I mean, I'm ahead. It's okay. I should get a Viking. So Cloak finished, uh, he sees the Banji, he's chasing it down, there we go, cloaking the Banji, there are a couple of marines for me, but that's not a whole lot, I need a viking, I need turrets, I get a bunker in the mineral line, that's, that's nice, and the Banji is there, there's no detection, and I wonder why, he got the layer for so long, but never made detection, so, uh, this Benji got 3 kills so far, 4 kills, 5 kills. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I'm quite ahead now. With Yeah, I'm, I'm far ahead, I would say. I'm really far ahead. So here we have the Mutalisks. Uh, Marines in the bunker. That's good. Turret ready. More turrets ready. Widowmine ready. Um, with that setup, I should be very safe. Yeah, look, looks good for me. And he quits the game, as he sees no chance to catch up. He's so far back in tech. Roaches do nothing against tanks. I got a lot of stuff, I'm defensive back at home. And that's it. So his build, strong, but useless against Terran, if you scout it, and you can scout it. Now, if there would be a command center at the low ground, no way to hold it. You see no base, cancel it. Cancel it, get a bunker, build it there. It's later, sure. It did damage, sure, but not enough. If you try to hold it, no way. And it won't finish in time, I guess. I'm not quite sure, but most likely not. I would have... I would need to... to. Let's, let's watch this, okay? I want to know this. Let's learn something. So, the command center... Okay. So here we are. The command center goes down at let's say 350 with good stacking on a good map 350, okay? And it takes 100 seconds, which is 1 minute and 40 seconds. So 
It will finish at 5.30. 3.50. One minute. 3.50. 4.50 for 5.30. Okay, so it, it, it could finish, okay, it could finish, and you could lift it. Ha! Huh. The seven roach rush is even worse than I thought! <laughs> oh, Alright! It's so bad. Well, okay, we learned something, that's good. Hope you enjoyed learning with Alex Sasha. Oh yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and...